It is Friday, February 19th, 7.43 p.m., and we're going to read chapter 13 of part 2 of Liber Aba, The Book. The Book of Spells or of Conjurations is the record of every thought, word, and deed of the magician, for everything that he has willed is willed to a purpose. It is the same as if he had taken an oath to perform some achievement. Now this book must be a holy book, not a scribbling book in which you jot down every piece of rubbish that comes into your head. It is written, Liber 7, Every breath, every word, every thought, every deed is an act of love with thee. Be this devotion a potent spell to exorcise the demons of the five. This book must then be thus written. In the first place, the magician must perform the practice laid down in Liber 913 so that he understands perfectly who he is, and to what his development must necessarily tend. So much for the first page of the book. Let him then be careful to write nothing therein that is inharmonious or untrue. Nor can he avoid this writing, for this is a magic book. If you abandon even for an hour the purpose of your life, you will find a number of meaningless scratches and scrawls on the white vellum, and these cannot be erased. In such a case, when you come to conjure a demon by the power of the book, he will mock you. He will point to all this foolish writing, more like his own than yours. In vain you will continue with the subsequent spells. You have broken by your own foolishness the chain which would have bound him. Even the calligraphy of the book must be firm, clear, and beautiful. In the cloud of incense it is hard to read the conjurations. While you peer dimly through the smoke, the demon will vanish, and you will have to write the terrible word failure. And yet there is no page of this book on which this word is not written. But so long as it is immediately followed by a new affirmation, all is not lost. And as in this book the word failure is thus made of little account, so also must the word success never be employed. For it is the last word that may be written therein, and it is followed by a full stop. This full stop may never be written anywhere else, for the writing of the book goes on eternally. There is no way of closing the record until the goal of all has been attained. Let every page of this book be filled with song, for it is a book of incantation. The pages of this book are of virgin vellum, made from the calf which was born by Isis Hathor, the great mother, to Osiris Apis, the redeemer. It is bound in blue leather on which the word Thelema is written in gold. Let the pen with which the writing is done be the feather of a young male swan, that swan whose name is Om, and let the ink be made of the gall of a fish, the fish Owens. Thus far concerning the book.